Hello everybody, this is Daryl the Auto Cool Guy and today we're going to take a look at the our new DX150. It's a push button temperature control to keep your radiator temperature under control so you have rock solid engine temperature. Now the whole idea is to keep the radiator outflow port uh, approximately 10 to 15 degrees below the engine operating temperature so that the thermostat in the engine can do its job of controlling engine temperature. Therefore we control radiator temperature, your thermostat controls the engine temperature. So let's take a look at this uh, controller now. Now we've got this set, the simulated sensor set at a low temperature, may, maybe about 140 degrees simulating, and we've got our blue button all the way, all the way down, so it can't get any uh, colder. Okay. Now as the engine warms up with our simulated sensor, you're going to see the, the fan increasing and so on. The engine warms up. Now if you want to, we want to raise the temperature of the radiator, we'll hold this button down and then the, the fans will start to slow down. Now the whole idea is to put a laser temperature gun on the bottom of the radiator around the alpha port on a dull red surface, not a chrome shiny surface, so you get an accurate reading. Uh, laser or temperature guns will get an inaccurate reading if you put the dot, the red dot, on a uh, shiny chrome surface. So I've been told, and so on. So if we want to lower the radiator temperature, hold this button down. Okay. Now we'll go, that's as cool as possible at that temperature. It won't. Even though you hold that button down, it's not going to get any colder. Okay. Now let's let's run the um, the failsafe. We'll see what happens. When you turn on the failsafe, the, all the LEDs are going to come on. Do it again. When you ground the failsafe pin with a switch, it turns on the failsafe. So now in the air conditioning, there's a potentiometer right back here on the back side. It sets the preset temperature with a little, little, little potentiometer. Turn on the AC pin, pin 6, and then preset the RPM of the fan where you want it. Now we'll shut off the ignition, whereas to show you, the, it has the cooldown timer. the cooldown timer it'll shut it off in X amount of time. the Autocool DX150. It's rated 150 amps and it has the quarter inch brass studs for the ground and the fan. Seven pin terminal. Now on the black terminal, the seven pin terminal you use about, about number 20 gauge wire will be fine. You don't need to go overkill on that wire. It doesn't draw hardly any current, very little current. And be sure to put a one amp fuse between the battery and pin one so if you, burn, if you short that wire off it's not going to smoke the wire and cause you problems. Well, there you go. The, our new DX150. Call me anytime if you have any questions on it. We'd be happy to talk to you guys. Have a, thank you. Have a good, good one.